guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, I'm in a different place than my house. Because I am on holiday and bring in a caravan. So there's our, our neighbor caravan. And we're in a white one. Just get out of my bed. So usually me and Carol will be sharing a room. Because she's sitting in the room. So it is really early in the morning. I'm just going to be showing you my caravan morning routine. And just, yeah. Mm. There's literally stuff everywhere. Like, every single night I drop this today. Anyway, this would be Kiara's bed. She was sleeping on it. And then she was asleep. So, <clears throat> shut up. Then, diapers, I don't know why. I didn't bring any of the newborns. And then my pajamas would be in there, but I'm wearing them. My bottle, her bottle, my book. Our lunch boxes. Her phone. I'm filming on my home, obviously, because I'm at home, of course. So, say hi. Then in here is all Kiara's clothes and towels. Random. Our wellies. Because it's been raining a lot. But I'm just not. Might as well. And then our other shoes. So my Crocs, my trainers, her Crocs, her trainers. And yeah. Um, so pretty much. I'm probably the only one awake. Because that's normal for me. <laughs> Oh look, my charger for my phone. Very handy. Even though my phone's fully charged. Morning and more annoying presents. <laughs> just in that room. It's smaller, but I'm just gonna show you. Because this is actually the um, sitting room and kind of like a walk in wardrobe randomly. Good morning. I love the days. So last night the fire was on. A real fire. Quite a small Another mirror. Lovely. Lovely. And then down there are all the rooms. Did you sleep all right? Set. <coughs> yeah. Do you want um, much better booze? Yes, please. What would you like? A wheat bix? Um, the internal market bill. Chubabra. Sorry, oh. you don't know what that means. <laughs> um, we haven't got. All the supplies here, so no. really, it's what we got. Chocolate spread on the coming over now. I don't know what we've got. Where's the chocolate spread? Why don't you have some little bit of this? I just don't want to spill it. Right. Good stuff. <laughs> Well, what do you want here? Do you have one piece or two pieces? Two pieces, please. I get hungry. We've literally been eating. That's all we've done. Oh, we've got a pillow. 
Sometimes I do, but not really. We'll talk about um, Brexit and the coronavirus and what. How is Kiara sleeping right now? She forgot bedtime being and she's sleeping. hands all the time. But the tissue paper thing, like who needs that? Who needs tissue paper? Remove the kitchen roll, wet wipes. Yeah, well there you are, we got to carry on washing our hands all the time. <coughs> Be careful. Your uh... Actually my family get like one roll a week. <laughs> We're fine. Yeah, well... You, um, what were you going to say? <laughs> you don't have to wear a mask yet because you're too young. I think you've got to be 11, have you, to wear a mask? No, 10. 10. 10, is it? I don't know what it is. 10, 11, 12, I don't know. To wear a mask, especially when you go in shops and stores. Do your teachers wear masks when they're in school? No, because um. I do understand because you can't really talk. Can't really yeah, they're in, they're in a pod with the web, so each class is a bubble, right. so they're allowed to touch. Yeah. And stuff. They just put so much hand sanitizer on us that I can taste the smell. Mm. Yeah. Do you want some milk? Do you want some milk? Yes, please. Would you like a drop of very warm milk or cold milk? I, for some reason, I prefer cold milk. Well, no, that's Even right. though hot milk is really nice. I like hot milk. <sighs> <laughs> Rather positive from such a one-off occasion. It's almost from 
Today, uh, I think there's still rain around. But at least we're able to go swimming and stuff. Eh? At least we're able to go swimming. Yeah, that's all for Lemma Park, isn't it? Yeah, and it's only just out there. Do you know where you are exactly? Nearly. No. Well, when you look out the window in a minute, I think when you look to the right, you've been here before. Somewhere uh, once. Just there, just on the right to there, I think it's a children's playground. And just behind yeah, that. Yeah, I saw it while we were driving down. Yeah, and just behind that is the swimming pool, which is luckily open. to eight. I mean, Kiara just wouldn't go to bed last night. Wouldn't settle down. I had an alarm on my phone for, for eight, so <laughs> going to go off soon. Yeah. I surprised them up this early, especially on the, well, I'm on holiday. Going to the beach in the rain sounds fun. Though. Well, we'll have to have a look, won't we? You've got your, uh, yeah. your waterproof things. We <laughs> start to do things, don't we? It makes a nice change to go away, doesn't it? Yeah. To have a little break. Because it is late now in the year, isn't it? In the season. It's October now. October, November. It's only two months to Christmas. Yeah. No, we were saying that last night. I mean, yesterday, because we had to make Christmas cards. It's early. Well, I suppose that's good. It's school! <coughs> Which is good, something to do and something to uh, get prepared for early. <coughs> this is why I'm so hyped in school, guys. If before my school when you're watching this, this is why.
day when the virus has affected more people and she has merited the top headline. How to be the skills minister, a detailed question on North East Everybody likes Breen, don't they? You like Breen? Breen's the best place to go if you're bored. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's far I'm away, always, it's really I've nice. always come down here. You know, Declan and Anne. Yeah. Declan and Anne. When they was little, we used to come down here. And Georgina. Oh, she was, when she was young. I'm going to receive from one No, I'm just going to leave from one. And your mum and your mum and Taz used to come down here when they were young. And even me, when I was young, used to come down with my mum and dad. I mean, everyone has. Yeah, I think so. If you haven't, that you don't have a life. Is that yours? Yeah. No, it's Kiara's. <laughs> I'm going to go see if there's anything to wear. <laughs> no. I'm just going to go. <coughs> yeah, don't wait come out because Grandma and Tyre are going to... Yeah. She's going to have a date night. So just leave them away. Room. I say, oh, the door's stiff. Don't close it fully then. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just not going to get dressed yet. You know what? I could do some. I could do some coloring. Since I'm bored, I'm going to do some coloring. Oh, yeah. I can read you. <laughs> I'll take tea back over.
What's this one doing then? What's it doing? Which one for you? What's it doing? My friends. What, so they're watching you? Yeah. 
Oh, 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 can they hear you? Yeah. No. They can I'm going to send it to them when I'm when I have internet. Oh, oh. oh right. Oh, that should be boring then, shouldn't it? Just watching ten minutes of you doing stuff. Penciling. <laughs> oh I make it funny, I promise. Oh, right. Be selective then.
not least Joe Biden, who shared a debate stage with him for a shouty 90 minutes on Tuesday night. A debate where the president ripped into the Democratic candidate for his mask wearing. I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking 200 feet away from it. He shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. And it was noticeable that none of the Trump entourage wore face covering. That actually uh, violated the rules of uh, the Cleveland Clinic, which was in charge of all the safety issues inside the hall, which were that everybody except for the president, the vice president, and, and I were not supposed to wear masks. I mean, we were supposed to wear masks. The president has worn masks in public on less than a handful of occasions, and his ambivalence towards them is evident. Can you take it off because I cannot hear you? I'll, I'll just speak louder, sir. Okay, because you want to be politically correct. Okay. I just don't want to wear one myself. It's a recommendation. They recommend it. Uh, it's a recommendation. It's written. And he's been holding rallies as though COVID was in the rearview mirror, with thousands turning up, no attempts at social distancing, few wearing masks. Messages of support are coming from around the world. This from Boris Johnson, who's been where the president is now. I think we all want to send our messages to the president and the, the first lady, and I'm sure that they'll both stage a very strong recovery. And messages of support, too, from political rivals. This from Joe Biden, who's tested negative. My wife, Jill, and I pray that they'll make a quick and full recovery. This is not a matter of politics. It's a bracing reminder to all of us that we have to take this virus seriously. But another leading Democrat, the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, <coughs> comes very close <coughs> to saying to the President, serves you right. This is tragic. Well, this has sad. gone for a week. But yeah. it also yeah. is something yeah. that, yeah. Uh, again, uh, going into you know, the field, the old, uh, uh, unmasked and all the rest, here. is sort of a, a, a brazen invitation for something like this to happen. The President has now left the White House and is in the care of the medical teams at Walter Reed Medical Center to the north of Washington. It is an unbelievable series of developments that have taken place. No one could have imagined this. But now the President has coronavirus and he is in hospital and who knows how the election will unfold. John Sokol, BBC News at the White House. Now since arriving at the hospital, the President has tweeted an update on his condition, he said, Going well, I think. Thank you to all. Love. Well, so, so, Peter <clears throat> Peter. so we just heard the uh, the president's uh, own uh, sort of analysis of how he is. We also have uh, some updates from his doctors, and uh, including the I think the line this morning was the, the phrase was he's not requiring supplementary oxygen. So this they're, they're giving us some information about the treatment he's received today. Yeah, it does seem to be uh, quite a positive report from his doctor saying that the president's very good. Unless that, 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 that was on all night. Uh, 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 it went wandering. Oxygen. He's also been given the antiviral drug remdesivir, which is uh, a drug that's designed to help him yeah, so nice recover. Rather more controversial. Yeah. Well, well, you said the other one was bigger, but I'm sure it's you. I can't remember the other one. Which is still in clinical trials. Well, we have the liminary in the middle, don't we? And then there was two bedrooms out there, two bedrooms. Oh, that one. And a shower that end and a shower that end. That's the last caravan we've been in. All right, and perhaps that was... Because uh, the lodges are a lot bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps that was super big. Because it was four bedrooms, wasn't it? Yeah. But this is... On average, but they all say it's 12 foot wide. Yeah, it's a lot wider. Well, we've got 12 foot wide. I've done all the posters I can, but I don't know about any of the rest. So, I mean, where does this leave the next month? 
What's that? Big what? Oh, really good, and that's that's it. Can I can still that? Can I still that? Yeah, they call it that. I'm going to watch Harry Potter. Can I watch what? What Harry Potter? So, peace. Can I just go to the middle?